they just had a pretty good connection off the bat. You know, it's usually what you're looking for when you're putting double teams together. It's not always necessarily who's the best on the court, you know, who's the best player. It's kind of just who kind of meshes really well together. And I think I overheard Parker saying just how they, they get along with each other on and off the court. That, that's, a, that's a big help. Uh, and they just, their games complement one another. They both like to come to the net and they play, they play doubles the right way. So, you know, I think just that, that kind of connection and just their double instincts, doubles instincts are, are something that are, you know, a big note for them. Coach, when you schedule so many top 25 teams so early in the season, what's the goal going through your mind? Um, well, originally you're not necessarily thinking that they're all going to be top 25 teams. You're hoping that they're just good teams, but yeah, no, Mississippi State and, you know, Tulane this weekend and, uh, you know, the last couple weekends, you know, that just kind of happened by circumstance. But, um, you know, the goal, it's it's really kind of just, you know, get testing the waters and seeing where we're at. You know, I wish we were going to indoors next weekend because then you're getting to see the best of the best, you know, and seeing what it's going to take for the rest of the year. And, you know, that's really at this point of the season, you're trying to figure out what it is that we do well and what it is that we need to get better at. You know, a couple of weeks ago, we took a you know long look at how that weekend went down in Florida. And, you know, we were able to make those improvements pretty quickly, getting to play A&M and getting a win there. And, you know, that's what I, I'm really impressed about is just how our guys respond to those things and the quick improvements and the growth that they make throughout the year. And you know, that's what you're really kind of looking for at this time of the year. When you have a team ranked number three uh, coming to your place, can you feel a little bit of excitement in the locker room? Or are you guys pretty good about staying even keel no matter who the opponent is? Um, I mean, myself, yeah, it's another match. Is it number three? Yes, you're, you're, you're geared up a little bit more like you want it to do well. Like, I think what we want to do is we want to get the fans out here to realize like, hey, this is a big match. We're playing a big time opponent, you know, on our home courts. And it get, that gives that, you know, a chance uh, for, you know, people from Lubbock to kind of see what, we're, what we've got and that uh, build into the spring when April comes, when we get to play the Big 12 play and play all, you know, pretty much top 15 teams. You know, I think that's what, it, you know, it's super exciting. You know, our guys, yeah, they're going to be a little more excited, a little more amped up. They're getting to play at home. We don't get too many home matches if you look up there on the schedule. And, you know, for them to get to play in front of their home crowd, hopefully we can get it, get the stands packed and get the frats out here and get the Greeks cheering and getting it ruckus and also just all the other locals that come out and support the guys. So if, if that happens, then, yeah, you're going to see you guys pretty fired up. How much does a weekend like this help you get ready for the tournament and get into the tournament all at the same time? Um, I mean, it works both ways. It can it definitely help you. You go out and you get a couple wins, you know, then you're gearing yourself in a positive direction. But you got to take it then to the next week and you say, okay, let's take us, you know, we got to still maintain what we're trying to do. And it's not how good we're playing now, it's how good we're playing in, in April. Um, you know, if we're learning lessons now that we can benefit ourselves and play good tennis and make the round of 16 or Elite Eight, and I'll take an L now for that. Um, but, you know, yes, if, you know, you go out and you can take both of these matches or even one of these matches this weekend, you know, I think it will give us uh, a lot of confidence for the guys to start playing good tennis still, um, you know, for the, you know, for the many matches that are coming up here in the next month or so. Doubles point is always so crucial. Is it even more crucial when you're bringing in the number three team in the country? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crucial just in terms of like, you want to put yourselves ahead. Um, but like with a team like Mississippi State, all the respect in the world for them, they've won 15 in a row. Um, dating back to last year, and that goes from when they won the SEC championship to winning the NCAA or getting to the quarterfinals of NCAAs. They won all those doubles points, and then also, you know, whatever the four or five matches they played this year. So, you know, they're very confident in that. And as a as a coach, it, it'd be nice to see what they're what they're like if you can put them behind because they haven't been that way in a long time. So if you can put them down one zero and maybe a couple breaks early on in some matches, you know, nice to see how they respond to that. And you know they. If you're always going out and you're winning that point, you feel a little comfortable, and all of a sudden, you know, you get a sucker punch to you, and maybe, uh, you know, who knows what we can do to them. How much do you think wind will play a factor this weekend? Um, you know, it's weather's definitely playing a factor. We're we're battling whether we're going indoors or outdoors or what, you know, time change, whatever. But, you know, their coach has been pretty positive about like, hey, let's just do this outside and. You know, they're from, you know, Starkville. I don't think they have the best of weather, you know, like we do sometimes. And they don't have indoor facility, so they play a lot outside. And they, they, batter the, they battle their elements. And they've gotten to the number three in the country because they, they're a tough, greedy team. So, yeah, is it going to help us because we're used to this a little bit more? Yeah, I think so. But, you know, do I expect them to just kind of, oh, wow, what is this going on? And is this going to be really too tough for us? No, I, I think they're gonna, they've, they've known how to battle their own 
you know, their own situations. And, you know, I, I expect them to be tough no matter what. So I think, uh, you know, whoever handles those types of things, you know, the aesthetics are always, you know, guys that can come out on top, but, you know, it, it, it's yet to be determined. You talked about Mississippi State being tough, Gritty. What's the best kind of scouting report you can give us on the two teams that you're going to face off with this weekend? Well-disciplined, well-coached teams, the guys that come out every day, and they're going to play point to point. That's the bottom line. They've gotten to their, they've gotten their success because their coaches preach it every single day. That's what we kind of preach here, you know, in our own way at Texas Tech. But you know, you're going to see some hard-fought, you know, well-disciplined teams that are, you know, going to be very loud and very boisterous and very just, you know, in-your-face kind of competitiveness. That uh, you know, it's fun to watch college tennis and. You know, I think that's what that's what I expect from them this weekend, and you know, I've seen it in the past. I don't expect it to change. The preseason, I was dealing with a little uh, like soreness, tightness, little stuff going on in the legs. Um, but uh, I mean, ever since then, uh, place picked up, um, gotten used to uh, competing again in the spring, and uh, really enjoying it so far. So I mean, yeah, I'm definitely definitely pleased with how I'm playing so far. Went over ranked team against a and Now two more ranked teams. What's that importance in getting? Those top 25 matchups. Yeah, it's it's, it's great. It's uh, you know it keeps you uh, it keeps you motivated, it keeps you on your toes uh, to have you know play such a such a solid schedule that we play um, to get the win over A&M after a couple of tough losses um, over in Florida State. Uh, it helps the confidence, um, but it's you know it's easy to kind of you know get a little bit of a big head after beating A&M, and you still got the number three team in the nation coming this weekend and uh, another top 15 team. So it'll be uh, it'll be tough, but it's uh, I really enjoy it. I really Same. do. Obviously, you're so early in the season, you yeah. want to just focus on the next day. But how much will this help you a couple months down the road when you guys get in the tournament? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, in the tournament, even in Big 12 play. I mean, uh, I think four of the six teams in the Big 12 are ranked, like top 20, top 25. And, uh, you know, it just gets harder from here. So the earlier we see these guys, uh, top of the nation, uh, the better it is for us to be battle tested uh, when it gets to Big 12, Big 12 tournament, NCAA's for sure. What's made you and Bjorn so successful as a pair to play in doubles? I think uh, I think Bjorn uh, really knows how to play doubles. He's uh, he's kind of a natural natural doubles player. He knows where to be on the court. His instincts are are really great, and uh, we get along together um, on and off the court. Uh, we just you know ever since the first time we played in the fall, we just connected really well. Uh, and we stay really focused in practice. We're always, you know, always making sure, you know, we're working on the right things. And, uh, you know, we, we keep each other. We're two very competitive guys, uh, two very, you know, uh, uh, animated guys on the court. And I think uh, I think that helps us a lot, especially uh, in these tough duel matches. It's so quick, you know, six game set. Um, but it keeps us uh, keeps us very, very pumped. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good for the team as well uh, for us to be playing well right now. What are you specifically expecting to face this weekend? Uh, Mississippi State. Uh, I mean, they're their top doubles team, Borges and Rakic. Uh, I've played them twice. Played them uh, NCAA's last year, uh, and then Bjorn and I played them uh, in this fall. So we kind of know a little bit of how their doubles works. I don't think they've lost the doubles point um, quite a few matches. So we know that the, the doubles point is going to be big. I think that's the key to any upset, um, especially with the top three team. Um, they're going to expect us, you know, to come out and you know, kind of kind of look up to them, and you know feel bad for ourselves as things start to not go our way. Um, but uh, I've been very close to beating these guys a couple times in individual tournaments, so I know they're very beatable. And uh, if we come out and uh, you know with great energy, uh, especially in the doubles point, and we can steal that from them, you know, we can scare them real bad. Um, but even then, if we, even if we weren't to get that, I think we have a very good shot, especially here in Lubbock. Uh, I don't think these guys have played here yet, uh, and they're not ready for you know the weather and the, the home atmosphere. So I think uh, I think it's going to be a battle. But uh, we come out with more energy. We have a real shot to beat these guys. I say, with that wind, how much of an advantage is that? It is. I mean, the altitude's you know different as well. They're coming from Mississippi. You know, it's very you know very humid, very hot. Uh, you know, heavy weather for a tennis for a tennis ball. Here, a ball flies a little bit faster. Courts a little bit faster than what they're used to. Uh, these guys are either European or uh, South American for the most part. Um, you know, they're not used to these you know faster conditions. And I think you know us practicing in it the way we do. And uh, we're just a lot more used to it than them. Um, but you know, we got to expect these guys are very good players, and they're going to adjust well to it. But uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a good advantage, especially with the win. It's really easy for guys to complain and feel bad for themselves, and uh, you know, we just can't, we can't do that. So, yeah, I think a goal we've had as a team is just sort of focusing one week at a time because we have had some challenges 
uh, for multiple weeks in a row, and that's what you want when you come to Texas Tech is to play against the best teams. Um, and I think this team has done a great job of focusing one match at a time. Um, and you know, a couple weeks ago when we played Tennessee and Florida State, uh, we didn't get those wins, but I think it was good for us to see specifically what we need to work on to play against some of the top teams and then uh, to see some adjustments against A&M and for that match to go well. Uh, we're excited for another great weekend here and to see continue, uh, continued improvement against the best teams in the country. Mentally, how do you let them, how do you not let them get you know, too high when they get a win over a and or too low when they go get one or two losses in a row? Well, that, that, that's always a challenge for a coach, but I think that's a strength we have as a team is this team is very hungry to prove themselves at the top level in the country. Um, so I, I think I think for this group and this weekend, I think we're very focused on just trying to prove that we belong in the top top in college tennis. Obviously, number three sticks out a lot when you look at a team. How do you let how do you allow your team to get maybe beyond just looking at the number next to a team's name? Just just the excitement of it. Uh, I think especially being at home. Uh, I mean, we've played some of the top teams this year and and last year and all that. Uh, but to have that number three number. Here at home, I, I think we're more comfortable with that just because these are the courts we play on every day. These are our elements and our fans and all of that. So uh, it's more of an excitement to see that number come here and play us here. What, what from the scout for this weekend can you share with us for what you expect to see and, and maybe how you're going to attack some of it? Uh, I think it's more of getting your, your feet comfortable early. Um, you know, the, the number three is a number. They're one of the best teams in college tennis. They have more guys ranked and all of those things. but. I think if we start off comfortable from the start, um, the, these guys here are, are very competitive and play with a lot of edge and all that. And if we get started that way, um, you know, we'll, we'll have some X's and O's for specific teams and all that. But I think the faster we get comfortable playing our style, it'll go well for us. How much can a weekend like this really push you guys into the tournament, uh, get you guys ready for the turn for the NCAA, all that kind of aspect, all bolted into one weekend? This. Yeah, for sure. It, it can it can help a lot. Um, but kind of going back to week by week, I think that's the focus we have. Um, and, you know, Tulane is an amazing team as well. They beat Tennessee and Florida State, um, and we lost to both those teams a couple weeks ago. So I think it's both matches are going to be a great opportunity to see our own improvement. And then for sure, if we can get a win or two, that'd be great and, and help us throughout the season. Of your guys, who's really stuck out to you in, in terms of coming into their own during these ranked matches? Uh, mo multiple guys are doing well, I think. Um, you know, some of the new faces have been great for us. You know, Franco comes in and uh, starts in January, and he's winning matches, uh, very tough matches right away. Um, you know, Tommy's playing some of the best tennis um, uh, this year and last year. I mean, he's doing great. Parker is new for us in the spring here and had big wins, and Bjorn was hurt last year, and he's back, and he's getting wins. So, I, I, I mean, I could keep going, but, uh, but the guys are playing well, and there's a lot of excitement in the locker room right now. It means a lot, really. Uh, it's probably the best ranked team uh, I've played in my college career. And just taking them at home, we have the home court advantage, the wind, the altitude. So I think it's going to be a great experience to everyone in this team, and hopefully we can get this win, and it's going to help us a lot this season. What do you like about your play right now? Uh, me and Coach have been working a lot on volleys and serves, and. I'm playing doubles right now with Artem, and I feel like that have been helping me a lot. Just work well in the net and poach and put balls away and surf well so we can get these points. When you play these this many uh, top 25 teams in such a short amount of time, how much do you learn about yourself and maybe the team as a whole? Uh, I mean, we struggle a little bit in the first few matches, but after that, we started playing better and better, and we beat a and that's the top 20 team, and we played very well, came out very well since the first point in doubles, and just the great energy, and you start to feel better and better, and feel like you're able to beat these teams. What do you expect to see specifically this weekend? Uh, I don't really know a lot about uh, Mississippi State and Tulane, but I know the Mississippi State have really good doubles teams, so I'm ready to take them in doubles and give my best and help this team get the doubles point.